Good morning to you. Time is now 644. New this morning, the Oscars may be over, but filming is in full force here in Georgia. And while no nominees or big winners came from the state this year, there's already buzz locally about next year's awards. And Channel 2's Steve Gelbach is live in downtown Atlanta. And Steve, that bridge is a, a very popular shooting location where you are. Yeah, look how pretty it is this morning with the sun coming up. Now, this spot was used in Triple Nine, a movie that came out this weekend. You look down below, this is called The Gulch. That was part of the Captain America movie shot down there. That comes out this summer. A number of big projects all shot here in Georgia, including one that's already getting talk for Best Picture. Lights and cameras bring plenty of action for the state and Metro, now number three for filmmaking. It seems like it really will shake out to be uh, Los Angeles, New York, and Atlanta. Lee Thomas runs Georgia's film office. She says the industry brings tens of thousands of jobs and $6 billion of economic impact last year. While there's been no big award contenders here in a while, Thomas says four films from Georgia recently competed at Sundance, including Birth of a Nation, filmed on the coast near Savannah. They've gotten such great buzz out of uh, Sundance that it's a great, um, you know, potential Oscar nominee. It's Hollywood here in Atlanta. Christopher Hicks just took over the mayor's office of film and entertainment last week. He wants the city of Atlanta to keep attracting filmmakers, calling it the ideal location with easy access and many diverse environments. I think the communities here give you, from a landscaping standpoint, Point from a backdrop standpoint, um, they give you several different kind of feels. And a number of big budget blockbusters are already in the works in and around Atlanta for 2016. Fast and Furious 8, uh, they're in pre production, and uh, Guardians of the Galaxy just started shooting. And then after that, we'll have Spider Man. The state does offer incentives. The city tries to make the permitting process smooth, all because of all that money it brings in. Of the $6 billion in economic impact, well, about three-quarters of it stays right here in Atlanta.